Hey everybody, it's Kevin from the Recording Corner and I have got a special uh, edition today for you because I'm straying off the path a little bit and I'm getting this plug in that Wave just gave to everybody called Wave Silk and I'm bringing it into my session for the first time so all you guys can see me using it for the first time and see if it really is good or what it does. I don't, you know, I guess it's supposed to do something cool with the vocals and we'll see. Now this is a cool time of year because one, they gave away this plug in, but more so than that, man, we've had Black Friday. Friday deals, we had cyber deals, we got all kinds of audio deals going on. What a cool time in the audio industry to get really cool stuff, especially during Christmas. It feels like Christmas. My next video is going to be on Avenger 2, which is kind of strange because I don't really have Avenger 1, which is really kind of like getting the sequel to a movie without getting the first. But I hear it's good. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm going to do that one next after this video. And then, and then we're going to do some Slate Digital. We're going to do some Slate. They both released some things over the weekend and just some really cool product coming out, Plugin Alliance and a lot of them. So it feels like, the, you know, like when the game industry kind of releases all the good titles in November, that is what it kind of feels like right now is like all the, you know, the audio companies are just releasing all the good stuff. So happy, happy holidays to all of us producers and audio guys. And uh, what a cool time to uh, be around to see all these things released. So let's take a look at this, what this one looks like. This is Silk. Right off the bat, we have got ourselves a very clean uh, interface right here um, going on. And uh, it is white. It's got a pull-down menu, speed, precision, makeup, a gate. That's nice. The mix button. That's nice. It looks like maybe a compressor over here. Some something. A male vocal and some other things. So this is when you pull it up. This is kind of what you get, except I just kind of, you know, messed up this one. Oh, we're good now. And... Let's hear what it sounds like without. Okay, we're gonna mute that and we're just gonna play the vocal track. Here we go. Bypass. Just in case you're trying to watch me trying to spy. And on bypass. Gotta keep all my emotions in disguise. I won't shed tears in the night. See me cry just in case there's someone watching over okay you. so right off the bat Gotta i'm hearing it, I won't cry under the moon. right off the bat i'm hearing that high end come through on the mix where it's um you know in the saturation it kind of sounds like saturation going on with a little bit of a, a almost like a maybe like a preamp processing almost like a chain of sorts so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. No. Oh, oh, hello, gate. Off, on, off, on, off. Oh, that that's a nice feature. That's really good. That could come in really handy, especially for live. Oh my goodness gracious! Are you kidding me? That's a great feature. Um, so let's come up here and let's take a look at. Who do we want? Joe Chicarelli. I like Joe. So let's go basic male. Let's see what his sounds like. I won't shed tears for your love. I won't let this keep me low. Just in case you're trying to watch me trying to spy. Gotta keep all my emotions in disguise. I won't shed tears in the night. I won't let them see me cry. Just in case there's someone watching out for you. Gotta hide it. So right off the bat, I'm noticing with that one is like this, this kind of um, uh, just subtle kind of air up in the top end. The first one had a lot more. This one just had a little bump, which is really cool because it's not over the top and it's just kind of pushing those highs in a little bit and the air frequency and the silk in a little bit to be able to uh, get it to cut through the mix. I can I can really see where that would come in handy 
as far as a, a preset. Let's see what else. Harsh and Boomy. Uh, U87 Rescue. Why would you have to rescue a U87? Tony Maserati. Here we go. Clean up the nice Mal. Enhanced Reality Mal. Let's hear what Enhanced Reality sounds like for the Mal vocal. So this is with it in. I won't shed tears for your love. I won't let this keep me low. Just in case you're trying to watch me, trying to spy. Gotta keep all my emotions in disguise. I won't shed tears in the night. I won't let them see me cry. Just okay, in case there's bypass. someone watching out for you. Gotta hide it, I won't cry under the moon. Just in case you're trying to watch me, trying to spy. Gotta keep all my emotion. So pretty subtle. And I think the reason is because the initial vocal is already kind of processed a little bit more. And um, and this isn't really doing, I don't know what this is doing. Hey, let's try this. I won't shed tears for your love. Wow, okay, then. that's really clobbering it. Just in case you're trying to watch me, trying to spy. Gotta keep all my emotions in disguise. I won't shed tears in the night. I won't let them see me cry. So I think, first of all, I'm going to have to read the manual on what a lot of this does. What these windows, I mean, they're kind of self-explanatory a little bit. Like, you know, once again, uh, adjust the top and frequency. Shows the reduced signal. Shows the reduced signal in blue. Wait, no, what? Reduce signal, click the arrow to adjust the graph. This arrow, what arrow? This, oh, this arrow. Oh, okay. Does this have an arrow too? Shows the reduce signal in blue. Low. Oh, that's what I was hoping is there would be little nice waves. Let's hear this again. Oh, so it's reducing that little bit of harshness. Just in case you're trying to watch me trying to spy. And knocking out some of the mud in the lawn. In the night. I won't let them see me cry. Just in case someone watching out for you. Same thing. It's reducing some of that mud. Wow. Okay. So that's nice. I'm actually glad there's solo buttons on here because now you can actually hear what it's doing to the actual signal, which is really good. I don't, oh, precision, adjust the width. Sharper means more notches and make calls, artifacts. Guys. Oh. Oh. Secret revealed. Ooh, this is juicy. Um, so this is a lot like smooth. It's trying to be like smooth without looking like smooth and being not quite all like smooth. But here's a Vox Lonsager. Let's hear what that does. I won't shed tears for your love. Okay, so see, this looks like smooth, everybody. Look at this. Just in case you're trying to watch me trying to spy. Emotions Guys, this is this is smooth in like a more compact kind of uh, way. It doesn't have all the features of smooth. It doesn't have, you know, that huge graphical interface that that not smooth, soothe has, um, or smooth operator. It has, uh, but it does a lot of the same things. So you're slow and fast on here. You can slow this down. I won't shed tears for your love. So it gets on more natural. I won't let this, keep me low. this is nice though. It actually has a built in compressor. Over here spy. As Gotta well, keep all my emotions in disguise. And you've got your mix just like, you know, the rest of them. And then the gate feature is really nice as well. Okay, I think I have seen enough of this plugin at uh, the how many minutes? Uh, nine minute mark to be able to talk to all of your beautiful faces. Hello, I'm back. Um, all right, so here's where I'm at with this plugin. 
where I'm at with this plugin is this, even the color, the blues and the whites are kind of like, you know, soothe as well. And then uh, Smooth Operator kind of has those baby blue colors and everything. I really, really like the clean interface on this. I like what I'm hearing already, which is taking, especially with some of those um, weird 4K kind of pss, pss, pss going on, and it's actually really smoothing those out a little bit and doing some cool things is taking some of those mud frequencies and dipping them down with either a really wide dip or kind of a narrower dip. And then just now on that one, it was doing all the narrow peaks like on, on there. And I know it says it's for vocals, but you could probably use this on a few other things that have harsh frequencies, obviously, besides vocal. I wonder if they have anything else in here. Now they just have, oh, right there. No. Nope. It's all vocal is what they're saying. But I could hear this being used on other stuff that falls within the vocal frequency range as well. And using it, which I'm sure everybody's going to do as well. We're going to experiment with this thing and find really good uses. And then on forums, everybody's going to share what they used it on and how it made it sound good and all that. So I think, okay, so here, here's the first, first thing. For free? Come on. Awesome. Thank you, Waves, for free. I mean... If you buy Soothe or you buy Smooth Operator or any of those, you're going to be spending money. And Wave said, hey, here you go. We're going to give this to you guys, man. Here's this cool thing that's like Soothe. You know, Soothe does a little bit more with other instruments and things, but and your master mix. But here's a cool thing for your vocals that we're going to give you that's like these plugins, and we're going to give it to you for free. Merry Christmas, you know, goodwill kind of thing. And we know like Waves has kind of taken a beating over the last year with a lot of, you know, the subscription debacle and a lot of all these other things, but they're making their ways right. And I think this was a really good gesture for them to uh, for the audio community. So thank you, Waves, for doing that. I think it's really awesome. Uh, no, I'm not paid spokesperson for Waves. Uh, they've got crap like everybody else does. And they've got great stuff like everybody else does. And this plugin is pretty cool. But, I mean, without really, really getting in to using it into the stuff that I do, um, I would say that I would definitely try this on some of my vocals to see how it makes it sit within the mix. And uh, But I haven't had it long enough or, you know, studied it enough to kind of know where it would fit within my workflow. But I would give it a try. That's all I'm going to say. It isn't something I would just set aside and go, nah, you know, I'll leave it there. Something I'd be like, hey, you know what? I got that new plug in. I'm going to, you know, see what it does. And maybe it will, uh, you know, on something that I'm struggling with, especially with a vocal. Listen, guys, we struggle sometimes getting that vocal to sit right within the mix. This might be your savior to be able to get that to sit where it needs to sit within your mix. So that's where I'm at with it. I think this is a really cool thing. I am going to give this a four and a half wrenches. And the reason why is because, first of all, I could really hear, especially when I had the solo buttons, um, I could really hear what it was doing to those frequencies uh, in a good way. And it was cleaning up some of that boom in the lower end. And it was kind of taking off some of that really crazy 4 k kind of sizzle up on the top end. And uh, it was doing some really good things there. I love the dynamic where you can actually just kind of eat or um you know uh compress it and i do like the gate feature that is a good good that's a nice little touch having a gate to be able to gate up like a noisy especially in a live setting and things this will probably be used i would say there's going to be a lot of engineers utilizing this and live sound to enhance the vocals and some other things so Kudos Waves, four and a half wrenches, man. Thank you guys for subscribing. We're at 3,260 subscribers over the last three weeks that this channel has been alive. And that's because all of you have come to this channel, subscribed, been watching, uh, been uh, commenting, been giving thumbs up, been involved. And man, I thank you guys for that. And, um, and so I will see you guys. The next video I do is going to be on Avenger 2. And I'll see you all on the flippity flip, man. Thank you for tuning in.